Oh, hello, and welcome to my favorite time of the day. That's right, we're having a cocktail and we're gonna online shop because you know I love online shopping. Cheers. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be fun to take you along on my favorite activity, which is searching the internet for cool and fun things to spend my money on. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but today is a little bit different because I am going to take you on a journey into finding a wedding dress. Ooh, ooh. If you've been around in the last year or so, you know that I was supposed to get married last year and then we had to cancel it. So we are on to planning wedding number two and I am nervous that we might have to cancel this one, but I am crossing my fingers and I am staying hopeful. So I thought it would be fun to um, start the process of getting a new wedding dress. I was lucky enough to be gifted my dress for the first wedding that we were gonna have, um, but times have changed, I've changed, styles changed, and um, I'm just going to dive in and uh, hope that I find the wedding dress of my dreams. To be completely honest, the dress that I ended up picking from Beholden was beautiful, and if you guys wanna see that, I'm thinking maybe that would be a really fun and maybe a weird video to do. I'm not really sure. I haven't tried it on since I tried it on at the store, um, but that dress is a lot more like princessy and um, I wanna say romantic, but it's just a little bit different than something I ultimately really feel like is me. And so I'm kind of excited to get the second opportunity to find the actual dress of my dreams. So this is all to say I did find a designer that I think I'm obsessed with. Well, I'm clearly obsessed with, but I think I might be leaning towards and I thought it would be fun to take you onto their website with me and we can kind of look through dresses and I can give you some ideas of what I'm thinking and then I would love to hear what you have to say. So make sure you follow me on Instagram because I think I'm gonna do some polling there of different dresses. It's just fun to take you guys on this journey with me and honestly, you've helped me um, through so much of my life. I mean, if you've been here from the start, you've been with me for like 12 years. So this is an important time in my life and I'm just like really honored to share it with you guys. So I'm going to scooch this way so I can share my screen with you. So here's the designer that I found. I went on like a journey and I'm sorry that I didn't take you on this journey, um, but I was like on, you know, late night Google searching and trying to find, I'm looking for something just a little bit more unique, um, maybe not so traditional, definitely like a little boho, hippie, just something that like screams me and I somehow fell upon this brand. I believe it was on Pinterest. I was like stalking someone's wedding and her dress was from Ema Clay. It's Ema Clay Barcelona and leave it to me to fall in love with a designer in Barcelona. Like I can't just like find someone down the street or hop over to Bloomingdale's. I have to find someone in Barcelona. But that's to say, I think that this is worth it. So if you guys watch um, or have watched any of my unboxing videos or like trying clothes from the internet, I like to actually go onto the company's website and get a breakdown from them as to what their like mission statement is, what they sort of aesthetically are going for, what kind of clientele they are appealing to, just to get just a general sense about a brand. And disclaimer, I have gone through this website before, but I'm revisiting it now because I'm getting close to making some decisions here. Ooh. Um, so, so uh, none of this is like brand spanking new to me, but I don't think I read their um, mission statement. So they have these two sections and I'll leave their information below if you want to like go on this journey with me um, on your own computer. So it says, Ema Clay is a bridal brand dedicated to romantic, elegant, but relaxed bride. Could that be more me? Elegant, clearly. Um, all of that, maybe not so, but relaxed, definitely. Uh, it pays homage to a new generation of brides who want more fashion and less tradition, which is me. I mean, I'm gonna be a 38-year-old bride. I feel like I have thrown out most of the traditions at this point anyways, so this seems up my butt, not <laughs> my alley. <laughs> All right, their universe. Uh, let's see. I love this. Not all brides are the same, and not all of them go with white. Girl, I've been looking for like a straight up yellow dress. I'm not sure if I'm ultimately going to do that, but that has been on my radar. 
from real brides to fashion editorials, the space is to inspire you. This is the E. McClay universe. Oh, so this is just kind of like a mood board with all um, of their dresses and favorite pictures. I mean, their prints and fabrics and see like, I can get down with maybe doing a printed dress that has some color in it. I mean, come on. Their stuff is just so good. And they have all this like floral. I'm not like a really big lace person. I just never have like been drawn to it, but they seem to have like a lot of really nice floral. Like, like look at this. Like this is like a daisy print floral or something. And that's heaven to me. That screams perfection to me. Yes, right here guys. Look at this picture right here. My mouse is going over it. I don't smoke cigarettes, but if I did, I feel like this is me. Like this screams me. Put me in this. I'm planning a second wedding during a pandy. I think this seems the most appropriate, okay? Also, by the way, just like planning weddings in general is so stressful. Everyone has a say. And I thought like, oh, that's not gonna be the case for me. Like everyone in my life is really cool and laid back. No, 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 everyone is cool, but not laid back. I'll tell you what, everyone has a freaking opinion about everything. So I am leaving this dress shopping up to myself. And you guys clearly, look at this, look at this two-piecer. Um, all right, so loving this. So, shall we just jump into the collections and take a look? I'm happy that you guys are doing this with me. And if you guys are into this and you wanna see more of it, let me know. I. Once I pick my dress, I obviously also need to find a pair of shoes. I do not want to spend a lot on either. So that's going to be a little bit challenging. Um, I'm willing to like go for it on the dress, obviously. But in terms of shoes, like no one's not really going to see them. I'm thinking like I'm getting married in sort of like a ranchy type location so i thought like a really sexy pair of cowboy boots would work obviously you need to figure out the dress first but if this is fun for you and you guys are enjoying hanging with me then party on so i think that this is broken up by collections so let's just start i don't know i'm just gonna start from the bottom up so Ugh, everything's so dreamy all right, so this collection is designed for that romantic feminine woman, with strong personality, able to combine pieces and fabrics, a modern woman full of contrast. That's me. Highs and lows, baby. Butterfly sleeves, pink quartz, tulle dresses. Yes. All right, so there's an Art Deco look. I'm not like super into Art Deco, but I gotta say this is a really pretty version of it. I mean, I'm all about the floral crowns this is everything. I love the, um, I love the polka dots. Like, I feel like that's a really interesting print for a wedding dress, but see like on this left-hand side over here, this is why I'm obsessed with this designer. They're like mixing different, um, laces with each other. Like the way that they do it and they, oh, it's just so beautiful. I could get behind a polka dot dress, I think. It's subtle enough because it's all one color. It's not like a Minnie Mouse dress. I mean, I love an open back. Not sure how to wear an open back because I definitely need to wear a bra, um, but I do really like it. I mean, everything's perfect. Did any of you out there like have the image of what you wanted your perfect dress to be, whether you are married or not married or whatever? Like I never kind of grew up with the idea of getting married, like I'm not those kind of person that like Pinterest a wedding board like far before I met my partner. Not that there's anything wrong with that, it's just never was me. So I guess I'm just waiting for something to really jump out at me and really like click. Like I kind of want to cry, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I want to see the dress and I want to cry. Is that too much to ask? Oh my God, this is everything. I'm not sure how I would look with the little cap sleeve. I feel like it's not a good look for my arms, but boy oh boy, that is pretty. Do you think if I say nice enough stuff about them that they'll be my friends? <gasps> oh my god, a collar on a wedding dress? Wait a second. Should I wear a collar on 
my wedding dress. I am a collar fanatic. Like I love a Peter Pan collar. A fully flared dress made from cotton tulle embroidered with daisy flowers. Did I just find the dress of my dreams? Cut from the waist, completely flared sleeves, which I love, crew neck, a diamond shaped open back. I mean, this dress kind of has it all. Oh my God. This is made from silk crepe or from Georgette, independent from the dress, giving you maximum expression of freedom and sensuality. Oh God. This is, um, kind of perfect. Did I just find my dress? Hope Jeff's not watching this. I'm gonna tell him not to watch this. Wow, wowzer. Oh, look at this. Oh my God, oh my God, each one's better than the next. Oh my God, I wish my hair looked like that. That's a side note, but. Wait, this is a crop top? Oh my God, look at this one. Wait a second. I feel like this collection is the most me. Ribbon trim tool turtleneck collar. I kind of love a turtleneck collar. Um, oh my God, this is, oh crap. I'm gonna want all of these. That is beyond. Oh my God, look at this star fabric. Tools, pearls, transparencies, and elegant shades with embroidered flowers and color take center stage in this collection. Fringes. Remember I told you we're doing like a ranch thing? Like I was thinking of fringe. Okay, first of all, love this haircut. Kind of after the wedding, want to give myself a pixie cut. Not sure if that's a good idea. This, 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 this. I've been eyeing this. Oh my God. So I think it's that same like daisy flowers with gold polka dots in the center. And look at that floofy, floofy, floofy sleeve. Oh my God, this stuff is insane. Like I want to get something like that's sort of timeless so that like, you know, in a year I don't look back and I'm like, wow, that was so trendy that like, why did I pick that? Like, this is so cute. Like, do I want to wear a hat? I feel like I kind of want to wear a hat, but I feel like I might regret that down the line. Look at this. Oh my God, these girls are so cute. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. I... I will be honest, and I did stock this dress. This is the Larissa. Look at the detailing. Like, this back right here is just, oh, my God. Just so creative, so beautiful. Can you guys hear Jeff working out in the background? <laughs> oh, my sweet boy. Meanwhile, this dude is just working out, living his life. I am sure he hasn't even thought twice about what he's wearing, and I've been obsessing about this, and I'm, like, sharing this experience with the world so I can get some help figuring out what the right choice is. That's that's a bride and a groom for you. Look at this. Holy crap. I don't think that would look good on me, and it's not really, like, stylistically what would work for the space that we're in, and but like, whoa, whoa, wowzer, how gorgeous is that? This is cool too. I love those floofu sleeves. Um, there's the polka dot. Oh my God. I just want all of them. I want to like change like 15 times. Is that possible? <laughs> Look at this. Ooh la la. My boobies cannot withstand a deep cut like that. They're just not perky enough, but boy, oh boy, that's pretty. Oh my God, this is dreamy, look at that. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, so here's like a not white one. So this color does not look good on me. He's so loud, I'm sorry. Um, this color does not look good on me, but I think it's so fun. Look at these little sleeves. Ah, heaven. I mean, whether or not I get a dress with them, we'll see, being that they're in Barcelona and I'm sure um, they need time in terms of making the dress. Like you can't buy a dress online. You have to book an appointment and meet with the designer and all that stuff. But regardless of that, boy, oh boy, this stuff is so pretty. And I feel like super inspired. I feel like I'll leave the link up below so you can continue to look through all this stuff. But I feel like I just feel inspired to sort of like live outside the box a little bit um, in terms of planning this wedding and what I want to wear and what I want to do. And this is like a bigger life lesson, okay? So cheers to that. But like, I feel like 
for so many years I was so worried about what everyone else thought and I felt like I had to follow the rules and do everything right and now I'm just like well what is the point of that life is really hard right now like really really hard right now and there's just no point in doing anything other than the things that bring you joy and that are authentic to yourself and not to like totally cheesy and kick myself in the butt if this isn't the designer ultimately for me but i was just inspired when i found this designer that like yeah this is something unique and my relationship is something unique and i'm something unique and like it's okay to harvest that and hone in on that and support that and so uh cheers to that i'm getting sentimental it's probably the cocktail talking i'm um, truly life is super challenging right now and i hope that i'm providing a space just for fun somewhere to come hang out for uh you know 20 minutes or whatever these videos are on a friday um to be honest like i make these videos for you guys but i also make them for myself because i got a lot of joy out of sharing experiences with you guys so um okay we've completely stalked this company at this point i'm probably gonna set up a an appointment with them just to meet them figure out how they work especially because they're in barcelona and if i can even uh, get the dress in time, afford the dress, the whole situation. So I will let you know, but follow me on Instagram because I would love to do little polls on which dresses, like this dress or that dress. So that might be kind of fun. So head on over there. Again, I'll leave all that information below. And uh, if you want to do more of these kind of videos, just hanging out, I feel like I've been um, wanting to do like more formal videos that feel like more well-rounded and edited a little bit like tighter, but I do like kind of just sitting and hanging with you guys. So if you want to see more of videos like this, let me know in the comments below. I just love you guys and I think that you're wonderful and I appreciate you greatly. And um, again, I know times are super tough right now so i hope i'm providing a small outlet of joy for you all love you guys talk to you soon bye